Thanks for joining me on Artwork by Mary. I'm going to show you how I made this watercolor painting of a lake scene on location. And since it is on location, I thought it'd be good if I showed you the area of the park that you enter all the way through to where I selected my spot. That's me walking. This is Hopkinton uh, Parks and Recreation area. It's really a beautiful area they just redid not too long ago, a couple of years ago. So if it's 2019, around 2017, I think. Anyway, a uh, beautiful spot. A lot of families come here to enjoy Sandy Beach, which is the name of the inlet area where they have made a man-made beach, which is pretty great. So when I'm trying to find a scene, what I'm trying to do is um, find a spot that both is kind of out of the way and also is not too flat. Um, there are a lot of great spots to, you know, definitely use in the area, but I'm trying to find a unique composition or a moment where something is happening that I can capture. This will just be a watercolor study. I had that in my mind while I was selecting an area that I didn't want an area that was too, too detailed with a lot of houses and things like that. Briefly, I thought about sitting up on that picnic table up there on the top of that hill, and then I found a better spot. Kind of hard to resist this picnic table here. Here I am with my Dunkin' Donuts hazelnut coffee. And if you see me out there painting, much appreciated if you just happen to cruise by with one. Anyway, um, I thought this was a great spot just so I could spread out all my junk and not have to use the little stool that I bring to sit on. And then luckily a lady came by uh, in a beautiful, bright um, kayak. It was really a fire engine, red, almost orange red kayak, and I thought perfect. So I took a couple of records of it. Great to have a shot of what you're trying to capture so that you can you know, jump in. I started with the sky. I left some white areas on the page that could be interpreted as some clouds. You can see them there. I did a quick sketch to make sure I didn't make the kayaker a little too big, and then I started laying in some darks. I'm using gouache paint, not watercolor. There are a couple of watercolor paints in my set, but for the most part, it's about 80% gouache, which means I can work from dark to light and light to dark. My favorite thing about working that way is that um, I don't really have to plan, you know, my painting as much. I can just sort of paint what moves me and move in and out and correct mistakes at will. So I love that. It definitely doesn't have the same look as watercolor when you're done. It looks more like an illustration, but it it's preferable to me. This is just some live footage. I, I didn't shoot a lot of live footage of me painting because frankly it kind of gets in the way of the painting, but someday I'll set up my phone holder and actually film the whole thing and maybe do a time lapse like I've done on some of my other videos. So I was looking at, you know, getting some darks in there pretty quickly and I love putting the lights on top of the darks, which is, like I mentioned, something you really can't do in watercolor. So I, I threw those in pretty quickly. I also really wanted to get some of the waves that were not created by um, the lady in the kayak, but by passing boats. So whenever a boat would pass by and create some of those dramatic ripples, you know, I would either sneak a picture of it or work a little bit in those areas. So right now I'm still messing around with the trees. I'm trying to get a variety of tree shapes. I think it's real easy to do too many repeating shapes as you go along and then it can kind of look fake. So I'm using a, you know, I'm just really making a concerted effort to, you know, make some varieties in the trees. And then certainly when I go put the lighter areas on top, it will create a little bit more differentiation, of course. And uh, I'm not really varying my tones all that much. There's uh, one instance here, which I'm painting right now, where I wanted to put some reddish in, but I was careful not to do that in too many places. I'm adding it over here on the left. 
because it can quickly turn the scene into a fall looking scene. And since it is July 1st, as I'm painting this, I really wanted it to feel very summery and warm, even though there's still a little bit of a chill in the air, as you can tell by the way the kayak lady is dressed. And if you could see me, I was kind of wearing something warm. Um, I was careful not to put too many fall looking trees in there. So here I threw in the first initial stages of the kayak and just a rough throwing in of the lady. She's going to be so tiny, I don't want to get too, too detailed with her or it will look a little cartoony. So here I'm working in some light areas into the water, the reflection of the sky. You can see here too, I put some branches into the trees and I started putting those little buoys, which I don't know what you call them, but it's just a safety area for swimming. And I thought it would kind of match the canoe, I'm sorry, the kayak a little bit. So here you can see some views of the finished painting. And I love to take pictures of it kind of up against the area that I painted. I try also to get some views in of my palette since I, when I watch other people's painting videos, I like to look at their junk, all the stuff that they bring. I'm de I definitely overpacked. I didn't need to bring all of that. I have my full setup of my um, Gorilla Painter box, it's called. It's a, it's a great item, but you wouldn't want to be hiking a long way carrying that. So here's a finished look at the painting and just put a lot of detail on the sand area, which was kind of a muddy, dark sand, and I brightened it up just a tiny bit to kind of have the reflections in the water also reflect on the sand, which wasn't really happening. And I hope you enjoyed it. Just want to give you some more shots of the area that I was. And thanks so much for joining me. I hope you like and subscribe to my video channel so that I can make more videos. So if you also hit the alarm button, uh, the little bell button, that'll give you a heads up when I post a new video. So this is me walking back to my car. And again, thanks for joining me. I'm going to be quiet now so you can hear the sounds of the birds and me clomping around as I walk back to my car. Thanks. Bye. Hope you enjoyed watching.